A silver po fox handicap chase. Two mile four furlongs, zero to one twenty. So Luby Kuma for Darren Thompson up top. The nine to four pre race favourite of Super Cat for Hollywood Hinton. Harry Potter's toothbrush. Winter Bukies. Uh, without limitations, Lord Glen, Lord Glen Carrig, Ralph, Gemini Morning, even top and treasure gate for Jim Murray. Flag drops. Looks sort of dry on the inside of this track as I go over the first. And Martin's Gemini Morning didn't negotiate that one too well. 12 fences all up. They race towards the second one. And up and over they go. And Supercat is our early leader from Ralph. Lord Glencarrig out wider as they go over the third. Bit of a slow one from even top. Should be a keenly contested affair. At the tail, we've got Gemini Morning and Luba Levy Kuma to go over the fourth. Running down the straight here. And they race towards the winning post for the first time. And they have a lap to go. And Supercat by at least five to Harry Potter's toothbrush. Ralph and Winter Bu Bukies Bukies unless it's supposed to have been Winter Blues I reckon that's what it was Winter Blues a keystroke mishap so we're going to go Winter Blues with that one uh, Gemini Morning Treasure Gate without limitations Levy Kuma Lord Glen Carrig and Even Top Twelve furlongs left to run and Supercat still bowling along well out in front. Comes to the fifth, that's a, the water jump there. From Harry Potter's toothbrush. And then we've got Winter Blues, Treasure Gate and Gemini Morning and Ralph in behind them. As they take the ditch. Oh, one's dropped the jockey there. Josh is without limitations out of the race. Bad luck, Josh. And it's Super Cat from Winter Blues, Treasure Gate, Gemini Morning, Ralph as they take the next one. Then Harry Potter's Toothbrush, Lord Glen Carrig, Levacuma, and Even Top. Over the eighth. Mile left to run. Super clap from Winter Blues, Treasure Gate, Ralph, Good Morning, in behind them Harry Potter's Toothbrush, Lord Glen Carrig, Even Top and Lever Kuma. So around the bend here. Six furlongs left to run. And this bend just keeps turning, doesn't it? First, I thought it was a bit of a gentle bend, but it still just keeps going like it's a small field. They pretty much straighten up five furlongs left to run. I reckon we're in the straight here. And a super cat goes over the ninth, out jump the field. Bad one at the back by Levacuma. It's super cat two on Ralph, even top, treasure gate, winter blues. Over the next uh, out wider there is Gemini Morning running home nicely with the even top and getting up on the inside Harry Potter's toothbrush at the three furlong. Two more to jump over the second last. Good jump by Supercat. Leads about a length three quarters. Gemini Morning closing from even top. Harry Potter's toothbrush. Uh, treasure Gate Lord Glen Carrig. As so they race towards the one and a half and towards the last fence and up and over they go and a good jump by Gemini Morning. 
and it's push it, pulling away. Gemini Morning is a length uh, at the furlong. It's well clear of running on his stable mate, Lord Glen Clary, and Treasure Gate, Super Cat, uh, even top Harry Potter's toothbrush. But coming on down to the line, and Gemini Morning wins from Treasure Gate, Lord Glen Clary, third. So well done, Martin. That's a nice winner with Gemini Morning. Second was Treasure Gate for Jim Murray. Third, Lord Glenn Clarig for Martin Leadham as well. So a one and three there. Then Super Cat was four for Hollywood Hinton. And fifth was Stu Gray's even top. So callers get the three of the top five.